If you watch my previous lessons on lookups and index and match, you will see that we did the traditional way. Basically, when we look at this table, if we select, for example, an ingredient and then a source, we can find the value associated with the source and ingredient in the table. In this example, it is F. If you haven't seen those lessons, I'm going to put a link in the description. So please have a look. It will give you a very solid base in index and match. In this lesson though, I'm going to do something more original that is called reverse lookup. So what I will do is select an ingredient. So ingredient one, two or three, let's assume two. Select a value in the table like F and based on this, we're going to find the source associated with those two inputs. The problem we have is that, for example, for F, I have F in the three ingredients. So here for source two and here for source four. So I need to do a lot of work to be able to find out that the F for ingredient two is actually source three. So let's start. First of all, I have the ingredient. I need to do a data validation here. So we go under data, data validation list. We click on this arrow and select the list. So now I have the ingredients. Let's select ingredient one. Then we have the value. I'm going to do the same thing, but here I'm going to type the values manually. So A comma B comma C, D, E and F. Then we say, okay, let's select the value A. So for those two, it is source one. Ingredient one A, it's source one. How can I get the source? Let's start with a little bit of hard coding and slowly move to the final solution. So we're going to do index, open the parenthesis. Where is my array? My array is basically where I have the answer. So it is my source. I'm going to select my sources. I have six of them and comma, the row number. There is only one row here. So it's row one for sure. And then comma, I need the column number. The column number will depend on the inputs. For now, we're just gonna hard code it and type one because it's the first column. Close my parentheses and press enter. Now I get source one, but this is not dynamic. So if I change my ingredient, nothing happens. If I change my value, nothing happens. Let's try to improve it a little bit. This one basically is telling me that I have to take the first column. Now, assume that I know which ingredient I took, for example, ingredient one versus ingredient two versus ingredient three, I would know that this is the first row, right? So what we're gonna do is use a match formula to find this A in the first row. Let's do it together. Let's remove this and do match open parenthesis, my lookup value is A, and then my array is where I'm looking for the value, which is this array, and then match type, it is an exact match. Let's close the parenthesis and see what we get. We still get source one. Now the advantage is that if I change it to B, I get source three, let's put it back to A. However, if I change the ingredient, I still have source one, which is wrong. So we have a problem because we have selected this row as a set row and it's hard coded. So how can I change this, which is the row that I selected and get the right row? Basically, we can use index and match for this. So I'm gonna do this in another cell so you can see it and then we'll copy paste the result here. So we're gonna do index, what is my array here? My array is the whole data set because from this data set, I'm gonna select a row. Then we have our row number. Our row number, we can use a match formula here. We can do match, open parenthesis. I look for ingredient one, comma. I look for it here and then I want an exact match. So if I do this, now I told Excel that within this data set, 
I want a certain row based on the ingredient and I need to take all the columns. To take all the columns, we will do a comma, we reach to the column number argument. If we leave it blank, Excel will take all the columns. So we can now do a parenthesis and then enter. And as you can see, now I get A, C, B, F, E, D. If I change the ingredient, I get the second line and so on. Now for some of you who have an old Excel version, you will not see this. In order to see the data, what you could do is just go select the formula, press F9 and you will see the data points here up. Don't forget not to press enter now, press escape to get back your formula. So this is what we get. The only thing we need to do now is copy this with control C without the equal, then escape. You go back to your answer and then we're going to replace this data set with this index and match formula. I'm just going to give you a few seconds. So if you want to copy paste the formula, you can see it. And now we're going to press enter, remove this formula and let's try it. So now we have ingredient two and A. So that's source two. If I do, for example, ingredient three and A, it's source three. And if I select, for example, B, it is source one. So that works. And this is how you do a reverse lookup. So please let me know in the comment section whether it was a bit too difficult for you with many nested index and matches. And as usual, it would really help the channel if you would like this video, comment, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so.